About a year and a half ago, we were uh, at that time crossing from this point to the the plant, we didn't have a set pedestrian route. The same route was being taken, but it wasn't a designated route. And it was through uh, ideas from the employees, how we could get from A to B safely. We looked at putting red and white uh, barriers and they started going in place. And then we decided that we would create safety pods uh, and intersperse them along that pedestrian route so that as people cross from A to B, they could actually pause at that pedestrian pod and have a feeling of safety and consider their next safe move. The safety pod itself, is, uh, its best feature is the fact that we can actually pick it up and move it. Uh, it's portable. Portable with a telehandler primarily, but they need to be just the right size to be safe stations to be inside, but also not too light or too heavy, they wouldn't blow over. Uh, they can be picked up with a telehandler, but also they can be fine-tuned with two people, because um, the majority of the ones on the sides, apart from our main one on our crescent, can be actually moved physically as well as with telehandlers. The safety pod being portable is ideal in a quarry. The quarry changes from, from day to day, from week to week, and one day we might have a stock of gravel in a position where we need to walk. The next, it might not be there because we've sold or we've moved it. The fact that the pods are portable, we can pick them up and we can move them and we can change the whole route around the site, keeping the guys safe. We um, at Needhamworth think it's fantastic. It's, it's a very good, safe practice. Uh, we've put it out towards, uh, to our business, Hanson, and it's gone out as a, as a best practice alert to the, to the rest of the Hanson business. And I think there's, there's quarries all across the UK that could benefit from something as, uh, as portable and as uh, a safe form of access as we've got here as the safety pod.